in previous videos we introduced inequality for logarithms. Today we're going to use a real example to demonstrate that. All right. So we want to prove the summation here from 1 over n plus 1, 1 over n plus 2, up to 1 over 3n. Right? We claim that that value is in between log 2 and log 3. All right. Of course, this is based on the basic inequality that we introduced the other day where logarithm in the green line here is in between y equal x and y equal x over 1 plus x. Because that's a blue line and black line. All right. So why don't you give it a try? Try to prove this inequality. And when you're ready, we can continue with our solution. Of course, it's good to review what logarithm function looks like. This is a graph. All right. So when x is equal to 1, it's equal to 0. Yeah, that's uh, here. This is 0 points here, right? And then when x smaller than 1 is negative, when it's bigger than 1 is positive, and it's increase gra gradually, and log 2 is, is about here. 0, 6, 9, log 3 is about 1, 0, 9, 8, 6. So as a matter of fact, it's good to memorize this commonly used math constants, like log, log e, log 2, log, log 3. All right. So we're saying that this summation here is in between log 2 and log 3. Let's try it out, right? So I wrote a computer program to calculate Let's call this S sub n here. So S1 is 0 0.8, and S99 here is getting bigger and bigger as n gets bigger. Now, when n, when n is 1 million, we have here. But what, what about log 2 and log 3? So we notice that log 2 is indeed the smaller than the smallest, log 3 is bigger than the biggest so far and of course and when n goes to infinity we may have convergence to log 3 right and we can prove in a different setting here and um, also we we'll review the inequality here but for the integer n we we would have this all right so you can go back to the previous video uh, for the proof of this inequality. So I actually recommend that you go back and review. All right, so let's try to solve the problem then. So we try to prove the summation is in between log 2 and log 3, right? So this is what I try to prove here. And we're given this inequality here. So what we are trying to do is we're going to use maybe, you know, log if you want to prove this is log 3 somehow, is, is you know, the, the summation here is smaller than, so we probably want to use the left half of this inequality to prove the right half of this inequality. All right, so let's rewrite that. So here, the left half is 1 over n plus 1 is smaller than log here is n m plus 1, and we can write it log n plus 1 minus log n. So we're going to have this inequality, and we have log here, and this is a less than sign. Now we have in the SN, we have many, many terms. How many terms we have? A total from n plus 1 to n plus you can consider this is n plus 2n. So we have total 2n terms, right? And we're going to apply this inequality for each term, right? So that's the proof strategy. All right, let's write it out. So we have 2n terms. And we're going to use the inequality write it out and we notice that when you sum them up all the terms cancels here 
and this would cancel with the previous term. What do you left? You left with S sub n here, as we define in the summation of this left hand side. And over here, what we left with log 3n minus log n. Of course, when you have the difference of logarithm is actually the logarithm of the quotient here, which is exactly log 3. So we have proof the right hand side of the inequality. And uh, now let's try to work on the left hand side of the inequality. And here, of course, you since the logarithm here is on the smaller side, and you, you probably want to use the right half of this inequality. Again, let's rewrite that, right? So the right half is log 1 plus 1 over n is smaller than 1 over n. Or we can write it as log n plus 1 over n, which is which is this one, right? 1 over n. But notice that uh, the first term we need is n plus 1, right? So so we're going to use this term, but we're going to start with n plus 1 here up to n plus 2n, right? So, so let's write that. Let's write this inequality, which is taken from the right-hand side of the uh, of the previous inequality here, right? So this is directly results uh, from the right-hand side of this. So uh, so we're going to use a similar strategy here, and this is the total 2n terms. And here, this is Sn. When you add it up, what you have is you cancel everything here, right? But what you're left with is this. So what you get is Sn on the right-hand side is bigger than the logarithm of 3n plus 1 minus log of n plus 1, all right? So similarly, that is the difference is logarithm of the ratio here, 3n plus 1 n plus 1 and equal log when you th think about this this is you can treat this as a 2 plus okay this will be 2n plus 2 this will be n minus 1 all right so for n greater or equal to 0 this is greater or equal to log 2 right because notice that log function is an increasing function even though it's increasing very slowly but it's still an increasing function so we have proven sn is indeed strictly bigger than log 2 and earlier we proved it's smaller than log 3 so in summary what we did is we based on this basic inequality for the logarithm and we rewrite it so that uh, 1 over n plus 1 is in between and these two, right? So, and then you apply two n terms here, and and if eventually you have the proof, all right? Of course, if you are familiar with uh, integral, you can also prove the inequality, especially on the right hand side here. Notice that uh, this is converging to log n. You can use what is called the Riemann sum uh, to prove the right hand side of this inequality why don't you give it a try and we may you know show it in another video on using the Riemann summation to prove this inequality all right hope you enjoy the video please like share and subscribe thank you